Brought to you by GatewayCitySavers.com. It's the Rams Blitz with Brian Stahl, exclusively on 101 ESPN.com. Hey everybody, it's Brian Stahl back with your Rams Blitz here on 101ESPN.com, previewing the Rams hosting the San Diego Chargers for this week six matchup. All right, it's a tough one. Let's be honest. San Diego has the number one offense. They have the number two defense. Why even line up and play the game? Because you got to line up and play the game. San Diego's two and three, the exact same record of the Rams. Why is that? Turnovers are key. Besides Phillip Rivers throwing the ball four times for interceptions, San Diego has fumbled the ball nine times, which has directly led to 24 points. That, as well as having the worst special teams in the league. They rank 32nd. Again, San Diego, a two and three mark, the exact same record as the Rams. Now, obviously, I believe turnovers are gonna be a huge part of Sunday's game if the Rams wanna have a chance to win. One of those guys who will be key is Ron Bartell. He has been working extra after practice. In fact, late this week, he had Thaddeus Lewis, the practice squad quarterback, throwing him different balls, working on those hands, trying to hang on to it. Both Steve Spagnuolo and Ken Flagel, confident their veteran cornerback will be able to hang on to any turnover opportunities this Sunday. Speaking of opportunities, how about number 84, Denario Alexander? Last week, he was still rehabbing, getting close to coming off the practice squad. Tuesday, the Rams made it official. Denario Alexander on the 53-man roster. This week, he's been used in a variety of roles in practice. He's worked some on the outside. He's worked some on the inside. He's worked special teams. He's done it all, but we'll find out Sunday if we'll actually be on the field at the Edward Jones Dome. Temper your enthusiasm. It's been a while since this guy played football. In fact, his last game was actually in December as a senior with the Missouri Tigers. So a lot to expect number 84 to just step right in and replace Mark Clayton. In fact, we may see him contributing on special teams before he makes a big play on offense. So again, just temper the enthusiasm, you Mizzou Tiger fans. And Illini fans also can get excited as Big Mike, Michael Ho, Manawanui, he returns this Sunday. In fact, this is the healthiest the Rams have been at tight end in some time. Big Mike is back. He's had a full workload in practice. Billy Bajama is back from that MCL, which is going to help out huge in this blocking game because, as we mentioned, San Diego brings it. They've got that number two defense. They've got 18 sacks on the season, so you know they're going to try and get after Sam Bradford. Having that big blocking tight end will help out being that quick outlet for Sam Bradford and hopefully helping out those wide receivers on the edge. Final note for you, if you're out and about this weekend trying to check out a movie, check out Jackass 3. There's a familiar face in it. No, not this Jackass. Number three, Rams kicker Josh Brown makes his big screen debut. Special stun. He's staying tight-lipped about it, but it does involve kicking and it does cause a lot of pain. So you can check out Josh Brown on the silver screen. That's it for the Rams Blitz. Don't forget tomorrow to be in and out with Jim Hannafin and Rick Venturi and I here on 101 ESPN. And I'm Brian Sell saying so long. Your Rams Blitz for week six of the NFL season.